And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the thirst to help the Ukraines that's been expanded and expanded to seem to be pretty much hero worship of Zelensky himself, and a massive, massive virtue signal. Well, it seems that 150,000 people have said they'll open up the hounds houses for a family of Ukrainians. Sounds all well and good, doesn't it? Well, that number has shocked the government, who are currently paying 4.7 million a day to house illegals in the hotels. So what they've actually come up with is now citizens who are offering to open up their homes for Ukrainians and that is families for a six month period. You're contracted to a six month period, by the way. <laughs> they want to open it now to citizens from Afghan and others, as well as just Ukrainians. So they want to effectively strip away some of that 4.7 million a day and hide these people in people's homes. <laughs> now this is people from Afghanistan, Somalia and Syria. I don't see a problem there at all, do you everyone? Now I would like to probably think at this point the people that are offering this sort of we've got a spare bedroom are the people that have got enough money, more money than sense. In my honest opinion, most working class people don't have a home with numerous bedrooms you don't need, do we? So it's not us <laughs> that are offering to open up our homes. Now don't worry, they going to be getting some money, the people that do open up their homes, £350 a month per family. Here's the kicker though, that I don't think the people that are opening the homes will realise most Ukrainian households have a family of an average of two, three children. Most Afghans, Somali and Syrian have an average family of up at eight. £350 extra for looking after a family for a month, for six months, for eight people. <laughs> now at this point, I'd like to laugh a little bit, because obviously it's not me that's giving up my room to a refugee, and it never would be, to be honest, considering the issues we're having with some of these refugees. So it is the virtue signalers, the virtue signalers, the, the roaming Karens, the Covid Karens, and the rum owners, all the ones that like to tell everybody else they're being wrong for not thinking exactly the same as them are going to get a big sharp shock when they start seeing the results of having immigration in your areas. <laughs> so that's the only reason I'm laughing. In regards to uh, Ukrainians coming over and staying for six month period, apparently a lot of Ukrainians won't be coming to the UK unless they've got family here because they'd rather stay in the countries closest to home so that it, when it does stop, they can go home, which is fair enough and I have no issue with whatsoever. What we should be doing is shutting out our borders completely and making sure the people that are fleeing persecution stop at the first country and we help the first countries. I don't have a problem with helping. Help the first countries to look after said people. Am I wrong on that? Why is it that they can travel three quarters of the way around the world to come here to flee a war when there's 13 other countries in between? Absolute joke what's going on at the minute and this is just, in my honest opinion, a way for the government to hide the numbers even more. We'll just put them in people's homes and then no one will be able to track how many are coming in anymore? Seems convenient that they say they, they're doing this and asking for this right after saying they're not going to be releasing the numbers for the dinky, dinghy divers and the dinghy dodgers. Convenient, isn't it? Let me know what you think, though, everyone. I'd like to know your opinion. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to with a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, stay sane. See you on the next one.